the you production guys are company. doing so well. Um, no, comedy is doing well. Wow. Uh, it is doing well. Um, it's not doing as well as sort of Afrikaans country music. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> It is, um, yeah. but but it is growing. It's amazingly growing, and I think it's largely because, for a very simple reason, um, even though everyone tells you every day how rubbish South Africa is now um, and how badly it's run, there's a generation of people who didn't have access to education who have had it, access, and there's an enormous band of comedy like fans mm -hmm. who are out there in the world. And not mm -hmm. only that, they've got digital access, so they can choose the comedy they like the best exactly so there's a profusion of like different flavors of comedy now and lots of new comedians which is fantastic by the way i was in the audience for the mass hysteria show teatro at monte right. casino it was absolutely amazing well, thanks. And, and the one thing that struck me that night about south african comedy is that it's i can't imagine the comedy is that progressive in the rest of the world um you know in terms of multimedia uh, I'm looking at the audience. It is so diverse, yeah. which is obviously uh, great for you guys on stage. Or sure. is it intimidating? No, What's it's better great. if the audience is more diverse or more the same? Well, in the old days, it was intimidating because we were told that people were different and you had to be very careful uh, about differences. Now we've realized you just ignore those differences. Actually, these are comedy fans. It doesn't matter yes. what they look like. Uh. They've come to laugh. So that's what I. That's why I don't believe the rubbish I hear about South Africa because there is actually a very good vibe. There's a, there's a, you know, we talk about, oh, the poor. and the, But every country, like it, it's in every country. You think there aren't Americans who are starving. You know, yeah. they've got a Nobel Peace Prize winning president who jumped over Pakistan's back wall and executed someone without an invitation <laughs> and then dumped his <laughs> body in the ocean before sunset. <laughs> like it's, it's not just us. <laughs>